going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to create these super cool drag and drop paper rip transitions. It's going to be in the description for you guys to try out. And here is the M transition paper rip. These are super, super cool because you don't have to do these by hand or do it manually whatsoever. So we go down the pre-animated section here. They have a whole bunch of really cool drag and drop stylized transitions. Each one is really cool. In order to install this, it's pretty simple. You would have to just install the M installer application after you purchase. I already have that. So I just go over here. So here you have the M transition paper rip version 1.0. It's currently installed. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro. All right. So here I have all of these transitions that I've added. Now I did add some sound effects. So if I push play, It'll look and sound just like that. The sound effects do not come with the plugin, so just FYI, but you can easily download this and find them online if you want. Uh, you don't have to use them. So once you've installed it using the M installer application, head on over to the transitions tab here. You're gonna scroll down to the M transition paper rip. Here you will have 52 items as you can see. So we first have the custom transitions in this category. And the way they work is you would simply go in between a clip like this. Let me disable the audio. So here's a first video and our second clip and we want to add something in between here so you can literally just click and drag and you're done and you can just play the video you can just shorten this as well so what you can do is if you head on over to maybe around the middle or so you will have the on screen controls which allows you to actually control the position of where it will transition uh onto so like if i move it over there it's going to transition from that middle point maybe i want it up here or off to the side or maybe even in the center like that and i go back and push play it'll transition into or in this case transition out to the center of this video now if you go in over to the inspector tab and you go over to the actual transition settings you're going to have the name of the transition and then of course all of these really cool and customizable settings if you don't know what that one is you can just turn off this and it shows you what it is by the way a freeze allows you to freeze that clip that last frame if you turn that off it will just keep playing the video it's hard to tell in this one because it goes by pretty quick so if i make it longer you're going to see it's still playing through but it's hard to tell because this clip doesn't move too much uh, but i like to have that checked because i like that freeze frame effect you then have the colorization which allows you to make it a little bit more of a vintage feel so this does add a little bit of a filter to it if you don't want that, you can just bring it down to 0%. And if you do leave that at 100, you can change the colorization for the shadows. Again, anything with A is controlling this video and not the background. But what colorization does is it pretty much changes the color for the shadow. So if I click on this box here, I can change the shadows of this color because it's at 100%. It's going to be really extreme. And then you can you know adjust the saturation. If you want it black and white, you can easily do that. Just bring the saturation to zero. I really like that they have keyframes, so you can really dial it in exactly how you want it. So I'm going to change this one to one that you guys saw in the beginning of the video, which is actually called shift left. It's under the pre animated section. So I'm going to drag that onto this and this will just replace it in the same length as our original transition. So it'll just transition to the left. And again, if I click on the transition itself, you have all of the same settings that we just went over. So you can change the color of this white paper tear to something else like orange or red or something right here. So that's if you wanted to change that color. And the next one that we've used is called Arrange Vertical. So if I exit out of this, you can see all of these. You can kind of preview them too, as you can see here. But the one we're going to be adding is called Arrange Vertical, which is this one here. So I'm going to drag that onto the second clip and you're done. That's all you have to do. There's no cutting. I'm going to quickly go through these just so you guys can kind of see what comes with it. So here's a crumple in effect. Here's a crumple out. So the opposite of that. This one's really, really cool. So if I drag this here and I make it a little bit shorter, it's going to look something like this. So it kind of uh, stops and freezes the clip in time and adds a, uh, that nice smooth blur, which looks really nice on this. As you can see, some of them have blur enabled. So if you don't like the blur, you can just turn it off. I like the blur. I'm going to increase it on there and then change the green scale, make it smaller if you think that's too much. So once you make your adjustments, it's, it's good to just render out your clips so it plays it back in real time. And then if you have your paper rip sound effect, 
This one's called the paste transition. If you scroll down, here it is, paste. This one's really, really intricate of a transition. So if I add this one here and I make it a little bit shorter, it'll look like this. So you don't have to do anything else. If you don't like the tape, you can turn it off if you just want the rips. And again, you can add the sound effect to this one. Another one that's called a picture. This one's really cool because this looks kind of like a Polaroid still where it zooms out. And if you want to keep the image not black and white right now, I think saturation is negative one. But if you wanted to keep the color, just bring it to zero. It will keep the original color of the image. So just like that. And then the last one is the simple zoom swipe right. It's all the way at the bottom. Here it is. Zoom swipe right. This one's cool because it just does a very quick zoom up with a blur and the paper rip is coming from the left to the right. Hence the name. Let's go to the ends and bring that inwards. It'll look like this. Super sick, guys. And then, of course, the sound effect. Can't forget that. Just makes it sound a little better and look a little better, too. And then with the music added, I really want you guys to play around with this plugin and see what you guys can create with it. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, check out the link in the description. You guys will save a little bit uh, with a uh, special discount, by the way, courtesy of Motion VFX. So big thanks to Motion VFX for sponsoring today's video. Comment down below if you want me to review any music videos or if you have any music video suggestions, just let me know down in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. That means a lot to me and subscribing as well. And with that being said, I'll catch you next time.